So why do I keep the two cardboard boxes and the uh, paddy material? Because I like to put this one here and the other one in between. So you see, it's impossible to scratch them, even if you're working fast or whatever your situation is. This way, you won't break anything. Now we got the case. So screws in here. I will take them out first. So, and I will spend some time to have a look of what's inside because obviously there are many screws, but most likely we, we won't need most of them. So, Corset is very, very kind with us. They're giving us some cable ties. And the, the screws, as you can see, are all divided in little bags. So, don't open them all because there's gonna be a reason why. I'm gonna tell you in a second. So, we know that these, these screws are usually for cases fun. In this case, they're already installed, so we won't need basically this bag, so it can go in the box. These screws, not needed at the moment. We don't have uh, liquid cooling or any other component, so these screws are completely useless. Usually the small ones are used to fit uh, um, optical drives, uh, and uh, that's pretty much it, sometimes the motherboard. And the big ones are used for all the rest. So you can fit power supply, motherboard, whatever goes inside the computer. Then, here are all the cables. I will start by removing this. Pay attention not to cut the cables. We clean up the working area because this is the first bit we are going to work on. So I will grab this cable and make it pass here. And leave it there for now. So let's put the, turn the case this side. Nice, it's all clean and stripped, so we can start working. Okay, so one thing I would do, uh, I build, I've been building this case like a million times, so I know everything about it, but if it's the first time you build this case or whatever case, just take some time to have a look at it. You know you're gonna have two hard drives, which are gonna fit in here, so you're gonna, you're gonna use two cages, meaning also that you're gonna need two SATA uh, cable from the power supply to give power to the hard drive. Then, we know that the CPU is gonna, uh, CPU power is gonna fit on this side of the case. You see they made a little hole here. Usually you can make a cable pass behind here, so your uh, cable management is gonna be really neat. Unfortunately, in this case, the motherboard is gonna cover this hole, so uh, we will have to make the cable pass in front. If the hole is up here, I would uh, install the power supply first so I can bring the cable up there and it's gonna go in the back of the case and you won't see anything in the front. In this case it is, uh, cannot, be, cannot be done so I'm gonna install the power supply later on. Let's start with the motherboard, backplate and then the motherboards. In this case the uh, pins for the motherboard are already installed as you can see. Sometimes they are not. These bits you have something like this that you need to screw in before putting in the motherboard. But not in this case. Not in this case. Most of the case have all the pins already installed. Motherboard. We match the holes there. And we make sure it's nice, nicely in place. Okay. Screws. So we grab the first screw. Uh, let's use this one. Be very, very uh, gentle. And maybe don't uh, uh, do the screw till the very end. You can do it later on. So the motherboard first go goes in place and then we're gonna secure it. We run out of camera, uh, of battery in all the cameras. So we have only one camera now. Dave's in, Dave in front of me with this strange tool. I'm a bit scared to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got the motherboard in. It's well fixed. As you can see, it doesn't go anywhere. So the next step I would do, I would connect the cable for the front panel to the motherboard. So, we have this hole here. Let's do it this way. The power supply is gonna fit in here. And I want the front of the case very, very clean. So all my power supply cable will most likely to go inside here to then come back here. So I wanna keep this space free. So what I'm gonna... Where you make your fingers. Yeah, but not in this case because it's very, very... It's not sharp, it's, it's round edges. So, I will grab all these cases, all, all these cables here, except the USB 3, which I like to put in at the very end. This is the USB 3. I'm doing this at the end because the 
pins are really uh, easy to break and this cable is a, comes a bit loose so I want to secure it at the very very end. Normally it's blue color. Normally it's blue color. Uh, not all the time but sometimes it is. Nice in this case we also have some fans so what I would do I would make we have a uh, connection connectors on the fan on the motherboard to connect the fan so this cable this cable I will make it pass here as well. Voila. Front panel first. So we have, as you can see, a reset button, an HDD LED, which is gonna flash when your hard drive is working, a power switch, this is gonna give power to your computer, and this is the power LED, which is gonna flash when your computer is on or not. So, this is, can be a bit complicated, but you can find all the information on your motherboard where to connect these pins. I know that I usually start with the reset, which is here in the green. And it's different for every motherboard. It's different for every motherboard, unfortunately. But it so, is all labels, always yeah. labeled on the motherboard. And also on the manual. If you're not sure, open the manual and check out where you need to put the, uh, your... Um... Or this YouTube tutorial. Yes, or this YouTube tutorial. <laughs> As you can see, there is a little arrow here that represents the plus, so positive. So always match it with a positive uh, plug on the motherboard. So in this case... Probably the most common mistake that people do there yes. is that they put the minus and the plus and the plus and the minus. Reset can go either way, as it's just a short, but all the other needs to be in the right position. So once we have done this, I like to put a little cable tie to secure it here. So it won't move around too much. This one, which clearly says HD audio, which is always pretty much always at the bottom of the motherboard. Then we have this nice USB plug, which goes where the big USB label is on the motherboard. Everything's All labeled, slight Lego. Yeah, and everything goes in only one side, so if you are forcing it, it means that it's probably the wrong way around. Fun, you can see there is a fun attachment here. This one has only three pins, this one has four, it doesn't really matter, use just the first three. We want to clean it up a bit, so what I usually pull the cables from here to, to the outside. So when you have all your cables in position, leave it a bit of uh, sp space. And so you see, it's gonna be all nice and neat. You can put a nice cable tie here to block everything. Okay, so as you can see, it's, I would say decent. Cut the cable tie. Yeah, another thing you wanna, may wanna check, you see, this case is a bit of uh, space. You see it's not completely flat. So you know that you're gonna have a bit of room for cables in here. Other cases have more room, some other have zero room. So try to... Generally the cheaper the case. Yeah, the less the space. The less the space. <laughs> <laughs> try to think before what you wanna do, how you want your computer to look and check where you have space so you won't be stuck at the very end and say, oh, I don't have space, I need to rewire everything or amount. Wait, take five minutes to think. Oh, now you want your computer to be built. This is gonna save you a massive amount of time at the very end when you realize, oh, wow, I did and everything. Expensive right. isn't necessarily bad. It's exactly. Getting a lot more features than you think you might actually need. Absolutely. Now, these are the cables that we just connected in the front. As you can see, they are coming at the, from the back, and they have already a shape. So why go crazy and try to rewire everything nicely when you can just follow the shape that the cables have? This way, for example. Something like this. And then you can grab a nice cable tie and secure it to the chassis. Yeah, don't rely on the cable ties that are coming with the case because they are usually really, really shy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that you use cheap cable ties in the, when they give it for free to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first bit is done. Now, what up? this cable is still USB 3 lying around, we don't need it for now. I would put in the hard drive, so, Page number one.